Hi friends, Pamela Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here and today we're going to do DIY from the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. I purchased some of these little clear ball balls, two of them for one dollar and I ended up having a tank top that I never would wear because it was too short but it was so cute. It had a really cute piece on the front so I cut that off and I wrapped it around the clear ball ball and I was going to make myself a shabby chic de uh, decoration. I normally always use rubber bands at the top of my decor like this, but today I thought I would use wire because it was such a thick piece of fabric and so I wrapped the wire around it so that it would hold together so I could do much more decorations on it. I ended up using some lace that I had purchased at Joann's. I got it for a dollar a roll because it was two dollars and I used my 50% coupon and got it for a dollar. I do that every chance I get and keep it in my stash. And it seemed like the perfect thing was to use two rows of it for my shabby chic ball ball. I ended up using some little tiny pearl strands that I had in my stash and I believe I got those at the Dollar Tree last year when they had them with their little miniature Christmas tree decorations. I had some of these crystal strands on a spool and I had purchased those from my friend. She used them in her wedding and she had several different spools and I actually got them just for a song and a dance. Don't forget to find goodbyes after people's wedding. You could actually use some of the crystal pieces from the Dollar Tree and glue them coming down. They would look very nice as well. The pink ribbon I purchased at Michael's. Michael's very often has their spools of small ribbon like this for 50 cents a piece and I usually purchase several of them. I've had a lot of them on hand ever since the dinner theater. I used to have every color. Then I also used a piece of the chiffon looking ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to add a little bit of pink and maybe a little bit of uh, blush. It was so pretty. And then how could you have shabby chic decor without some pearls? I used the flat back pearls from the Dollar Tree that you can get on a card. They have several different colors and they're so beautiful. I absolutely loved how this turned out. I'm a shabby chic girl and I thought it was so beautiful. Next I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased one of these uh, buffalo red and black prints. This one is like a unity scarf that goes all the way around and so I took and cut it right at the seam and I counted over seven squares. I'm still using this small clear ball ball from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to use the red checkered with the black. I'm going to use it outside my front door. And of course I use rubber bands at the top. They're so wonderful to work with and really hold it together, but I never trust them by themselves. They do help you be able to manipulate your uh, decoration, but I always go back and add some ribbon or wire or something to be able to hold it together. In this case, I took red and black ribbon and I doubled it up and I tied it around there very nicely and I love how that looked. Thank you. 
I end up adding some greenery from one of the picks from the Dollar Tree and some of those little tiny pine cones that were so cute. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. There was such an elegance to it and it was just so beautiful and I'm going to be proud to use several of those on my front door wreath. Next I decided to use just the black felt and I got some of the tooling from the Dollar Tree on those spools and I wanted to put it inside to give it an elegance beyond just the black felt. And of course I used my rubber band going around there and um, then I end up trimming some of the tooling a little bit too long. It's going to be beautiful. I ended up using some appliques that I had purchased when our Joann's was building a new one. Joann's ended up selling all of their products for 50% off and then as time went on they got lower and lower so I was able to buy a whole spool of appliques for 80% off and I was so excited about it. So I ended up getting some of those and uh, thinking it was going to make this very elegant and in fact it really did. The appliques go perfect. I didn't know if it would go with the black buffalo check but I think it goes fabulous. When I was doing them, I thought, I better add a little bling while I'm at it. So I used the Dollar Tree bling, and I cut single strands and put it around the top with, along with the black ribbon that I got at Michael's for 50 cents a roll. I decided to cut the appliques apart so that they would fit smoothly and perfectly around the shape of the ball. Once again, I add some of the greenery from the picks from the Dollar Tree, and then I added a little silver bell that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. I love this. I think it turned out so, so beautiful. Next, I decided to do one of the big ball balls from the Dollar Tree, the clear ones. And so I was going to use the black felt once again. And I decided, yes, once again, I was going to do it with some elegance. And so I end up adding some of the tooling inside of that one as well. Actually, while I was doing all of this, I decided you really don't need to use the clear ball balls. You could use any of them and you can get them cheaper at the Dollar Tree if they're not the clear ones because you're going to cover them anyhow. But I happen to have these. And yes, once again, using the rubber band to hold everything together while I can get ready and get all of my beautiful decor on top. when I decided to use the bling bling from the Dollar Tree, get a roll of that for a dollar, and I wanted to have this be a two row off of the spool, and so I cut it in, in twos and I was going to crisscross it across the whole entire ball ball. I'm going to do one of my trees this year with the black and the black checkered buffalo and do my fireplace to match it mantle and I'm so excited about it. Do any of you ever use black in your Christmas decor? I think there's such an elegance to it especially when it's by my baby grand piano, my black baby grand piano. Let me know what decor you're going to use on your house. I decide to make a bling bling bow so all I did was take a, to a strip of two and just make a loop on one side a loop on the other and take a smaller piece to go around the center so I can glue that up on the top of the ball ball I've never used the buffalo check at 
on any of my Christmas decor. And this year I'm going to use the black, but I'm going to go with a real elegance, a rustic elegance. And I'm so excited about it. I decided I certainly had to have little tails off of the bling bling bow so I used more of the bling bling from the Dollar Tree. I ended up feeling like the two the two rows was a little bit too heavy uh, so I, I cut those apart so they would be individual and it would look a lot nicer. Then after I cut those I cut them all, all different lengths so that would have a nicer look to it. I just really love these. I think they turned out so beautiful. And of course, I ended up having to use some of the Dollar Tree flat back pearls. They're so beautiful and they're so shabby chic and they're so elegant and I just love them. And they were easy to glue on after I stuck them. I just barely would put them on and I would put my little glue gun tip right underneath it and it was so much easier to glue them on that way. It was a lot nicer. After rolling my ball ball around all over my desk it seemed I had little items on it so I took some tape and I just used the tape and cleaned it off so nicely it was just perfect thank you so much for watching my channel today and if this is your first time maybe you would like to subscribe anyhow happy Christmas decorating to you and we'll see all you good people later bye bye